Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. I'm Keith. That's Dustin. Hey guys, we're back. We we are back. Yep. I'm uh I'm kind of the bourbon guy. I'm the music guy. -ish. Yep. If you don't know, we're gonna talk to you about some bourbons mm -hmm. and some music that you suggest to us. Yeah. We don't know country music. Speaking of suggestions, <clears throat> in this case, it's more of a bribe. It's true. So we have adopted a policy here at Bourbon Country Reacts. Bourbon bribery. If you bribe us with bourbon, your song goes to the front of the list. Well, uh, Dustin's girlfriend was one of the first people to take advantage. She took it. She's like, oh, psh, I'll get you some bourbon. <laughs> of that policy. And so we, her song goes to the top. So yep. take note. You send us bourbon, we react to your songs. Immediately. So that's how that goes. Speaking of songs. Well, let's talk about the bourbon first. Yeah, let's talk about it. So, yeah. So what she had got us was something that neither of us have tried before. Uh, you guys have probably seen uh, the label, though. I don't know if you can see it very well. There you go. Maybe. Uh, so Old Hamer. We've, we've done Old Hamer before. We've told you West Fork does these. This is an Indiana distillery. Um, we've had a couple of theirs that we really liked, and there were a couple who were like, hmm. Not bad, but okay. This is a straight rye whiskey. And, <coughs> excuse me, I tend to like rye. Yeah, but this is cast strength. Ooh, barrel proof rye can be a little spicy. A little bit. So this one's sitting at 114 proof. Um, batch number four. And, uh, yeah, I already said they're in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. So I'll go ahead and crack this up. And uh, you tell us what we're listening to. So, uh, the request that came with this bottle and got moved up to the front is uh, something fancy like by uh, Walker Hayes. I've never heard this. You heard it? I've never. I don't even know who Walker Hayes is. Me, me either. So, so there, now, there's a chance, because it's Andrea's request, that she's played it and I just didn't listen, but... I'll let you know if, it, if that's the case. This bottle is being uh, finicky a little bit. You may. So we're having technical difficulties with the bottle. I'll, I'll get it. I got a knife. I just didn't give it. Go the, get a hacksaw. I mean, maybe. A blowtorch? You don't have one of those. I don't have a torch. Yeah. Well, you'd have to go to my house. We could blast it off there. <laughs> now you're just teasing me. Might, might be bad for the bourbon, though. Could be. All right. All right. So while he continues to work on that. Yep. Um, I'm pretty sure I've never heard this. Uh, I've never heard of Walker Hayes. Ooh, I like that sound. Mm -hmm. um, so here we go. Let's uh, let's check it out. It's got a heck of a nose. <laughs> Is this in a commercial? It seems like it is a commercial. Like, I think the song was actually in an Applebee's. That is hot. It smells good. How we do, how we do. Fancy like. Double wide slow dancing. Wait, like Natty Light is bougie? <laughs> well, so is Applebee's, apparently. Fancy like my no clean blue jeans without the holes in them. 
bunch of kisses on my lips without scalding them Yeah, she probably gonna be keeping some Victoria's Secrets Maybe a little Maybelline, but she don't need it And the kitchen light radio slows down Box wine and a up to go Box wine <laughs> Hey, yeah, we fancy like Applebee's on a date night Got that Bourbon Street stay with the Oreo shake And some whipped cream on the top too Two straws, one check, girl, I got you Bougie like Natty in the styrofoam Sweet, sweet, get in the truck, baby So this is uh, what happens when your song goes to the top That's how we do, how we do Fancy like Thanks for the bourbon What, what? What, what did we just hear? So, country hip hop. Yes. Holy shit! It wasn't country rap. It was country hip hop. Oh my god, it's a thing. I, I mean, the groove was kind of infectious. The the intro. Like was... you were gonna get infected. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, I mean legit. The groove was kind of infectious. Okay. Uh, um, you're the music guy <laughs> well in the background there was all kinds of like what I would consider traditional country shit going on the guitar work was super honky tonk just true with the distortion knob turned way up right and every now and then like in between these real honky tonk riffs the guitar player would throw in these kind of chunk chunk like metal palm mutes oh. you know come straight out of heavy metal but the vocals were hip hop. Yeah. But instead of like an S class bends, we got Applebee's. <laughs> and double wide dancing and box wine. Okay, this is a funny fucking song. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is funny. Is it starting to dawn on you that yes. it was it was I I'm you're like I'm drawing the parallels now to hip hop. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cuz in hip hop it's all about the it's all about the 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 bankroll it's all about the the bentley it's you know rolling up to the hottest club in the diablo you know exactly in a lambo <laughs> a venador country hip hop is hilarious <laughs> i don't think i'd put it's, it on my playlist but it's funny as shit he's talking about the natty light and yes. the styrofoam cooler yes. squeaking around and shit i yep. mean it's relatable kind of been there done that, right <laughs> I haven't done the two straws thing at Applebee's, though, with the Oreo shake. I mean, I've done two straws before, not at Applebee's. I don't think I, I've I don't, ever done that. I don't. I, I, I try. Uh, never mind. So <laughs> what do you think of this uh, rye, dude? So the the first sip of that was a punch in the face. I mean. It's 115 proof. Wow, did it hit me, like. It actually caused, like, some physical <laughs> reactions, like, up in my shoulders and my jaw yeah, kind of locking. And yeah, it was kind of, wow, I've been hit. So the flavor's pretty awesome. It's not, um, like, I got a touch of cinnamon, a touch of citrus. Actually, a pretty good bit of citrus. What about that pepper on the back end on the finish? It is still, still it's been a while since I, you guys have watched. I haven't taken a sip in a in a minute here. Yeah. I've been running my mouth. And, and that pepper is still sitting there, still working on me um, with some heat. Yeah. I So I, I'll i say I knew, obviously, you could tell with the nose it was going to be hot. And it says on the bottom, it's, it's cast strength. We expect hot. We like hot. Um, to each their own. For somebody who doesn't like hot, throw a little throw a little water or ice in there. Do do you? Uh, the flavors though of this, it's pretty good. Holy crap, man! It's pretty good. So, what are you getting? Like I say, a little cinnamon, a little citrus, and then as a tra- so. But when I say a little, there it's just like there's oak in there. And cinnamon and citrus, and it all hits you like a straight right. I mean, in the jaw, bam! Uh, it hits you, and then as it transitions to the finish, is when you get all that rye pepper. Yeah, yep. And I, the citrus, the citrus sits real nice in the middle. It's like almost like a, it's a really light citrus, and then it kind of fades to an orange peel to the pepper. Yeah, 
but there's a sweetness up front that I'm having trouble identifying. I, I can't. Let me try. It's right at the very, it's like, the initial hit of the palate. Dude, this is going to sound nuts. I get a touch of banana. I'm not getting that. A touch of banana. <laughs> You know who likes, Andrea likes banana liquor, so I'll see what she says, but I'm not getting banana, but there's definitely, up front, there's a sweetness that I'm struggling to identify. It's not caramel. Hmm. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's good. I like, this is, I will be drinking this. Thank you, Andrea. Yes. Thank you, Andrea. That's great. Rye. Is, it's really good stuff. Um. This is what you drink when you want to know you're drinking something. Well, yeah. You will know. And, yeah. It's got great flavor, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, is you going to put this on your playlist? When you go to the Applebee's? I bet they've got it on maximum rotation at Applebee's oh already. God. They probably, every hour, probably on the yeah. hour. <laughs> you're probably, holy shit, you're probably right. If I were a marketing dweeb at Applebee's, like I say, I think this is in a commercial. So, wait a minute. Oh, God. So, I let you take me to an Applebee's one time. Uh -huh. I generally don't do that. Uh, but we went to an Applebee's in West Virginia. Yeah. I wonder if we heard this. I wonder if we heard this there. Seriously. I Maybe that's why it's kind of a little bit familiar. I swear I think there's a commercial <laughs> running right now. With this in it? With this song as the background. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's great marketing material, so. Yeah. All right. So, th thanks for uh, watching us react to an Applebee's commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, bourbon bribes are a thing. If you bribe us with bourbon, your song goes to the front. It's got, the, so the only stipulations, you got to send us bourbon, and it's got to be a country song. Yes. Right, because this is Bourbon Country Reacts. Also, you might have noticed, we got a new sign. Uh, we're going to have the country worked on a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but the bourbon and the reacts, I think you can probably see pretty good. Yeah, So and, and the barrel and guitar art. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. So, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, real, real quick, hit that like. Yeah. Definitely share it. Like's important. Sharing it's awesome. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, Think about it. Go look at our other stuff. You might enjoy it. Then subscribe. Yep. Till next time, guys.